So welcome to another Elite Development Seminar um, in our professional development series. Tonight, we're going over the G5 cellulite machine. The reason that I wanted to touch on this topic is because I do get a lot of inquiries regarding the G5 um, cellulite machine. I'm working on a course, however, with your experience as students and with your prior knowledge from my previous courses, it's, it's, it's a very simple structure. So if it is something you're interested in implementing, just based on your previous education with me, um, you're going to be able to incorporate this fairly easy, easily. Um, and it's now, cause you know, I, again, sciency, <laughs> we've got to understand what we're doing guys, the essential components affected by the treatment process. Sensory system, nervous system, circulatory system, lymphatic system, muscle, fascia, and potentially fat. I'm going to touch on that subject in just a moment. Now, guys, as I'm saying, sensory system, nervous system, circulatory system, lymphatic system, right away, we know our treatment is really going to require preparation of the tissue, right? We go over this and basically the treatment patterns and training. Um, and so this is no exception. And when we actually talk about the different heads, you'll see it has included that aspect. And that's why I say across the board, guys, your treatments need to include that preparation phase before moving back right into the treatment so that we are stimulating that sensory system, nervous system, circulatory system, creating that mind body um, connection. So our, our treatments, our bodies can be more receptive to the treatment process. Now, it's really important to look at this image here and check out these different layers of the dermis. Because again, guys, you know how I am with you guys. I want you to think outside the box and make these connections. And when I show you the different heads to this, um, to this machine, it's going to make sense. Multiple so heads for different purposes. So this machine comes with a wide range of heads. You can get the standing machine. You can get the box machine. Again, the functions are the same. The supplies is typically the same. Um, we got to talk about what are these, all these heads doing? The first two <laughs> heads we've got here are the sponge heads. So what these heads do, again, thinking about pressure, is they are working on that epidermis, okay? You know, this is very similar to like a body buffer, all right? But with this speed through that transference of energy, what are we getting here, guys? We're getting heat. We're getting heat on the tissue. And all of us know how important heat induction is especially when treating cellulite, right? Even getting into heat induction with creating malleability. We've gone over that in our training as well. So we've got that nice heat that's occurring. We're stimulating the circulatory system. We're stimulating the sensory system. So again, if I push this very hard, even if I apply a lot of pressure, it's still that epidermis. It's still that thin layer at the top, okay? So we've got these for different body parts, right? So we've got some curvatures for the side. We've got some curvatures for the back of the leg. Um, it's, 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 again, this is gonna be the preparatory phase. If we've you, got, I call this the little spiked one. Now, again, looking at its depth, if I am applying pressure on the tissue with this little spiked head, how far into the layers of skin do you think this is going to go, right? So this is really going to be isolating um, that thin layer between the epidermis and the dermis where that lymphatic system sits, right? So again, guys, little hints here, lymphatic drainage, can't call it massage because we're not masseuses, um, but it's sitting there. So we're going to get a nice surface stimulation um, with different pressure. We can, again, work with the drainage and stimulation of the lymphatic system. This is the favorite one. And this is the one if you are conducting a cellulite treatment that is going to be um, this is, this is the fun one for that. So this is going to penetrate deeper into those layers of the dermis, right? 
um, to elongate and massage that fascia, those wound and bound connective tissues and fascia that are, are causing some of that dimpling, okay? Uh, the final head, oh, it's on the machine, <laughs> is the knob. So even again, making these connection guys, what do these deeper knobs look like? That percussion, right? So that deeper percussion therapy. So these knobs are meant for that deeper layer of muscular tissue, okay? So this is really going to help with muscle relaxation, for mobility, um, for, for what? So relaxation, mobility, um, and general muscle care. But this is also really great in a cellulite treatment when you've got that really stubborn cellulite that's, you know, bound from the depth of the muscle. You know, we talk about fascia a lot during training and how that implements all the different layers, right? Throughout our connective tissue, it's everywhere. Um, so this is really great for that stubborn, stubborn, um, cellulite as well, but always incorporated with our little Coney one here. So those are the, the heads. So again, bringing it back to an image of the tissue. Okay, guys, the layers of tissue and the depth. We're making those connections between these heads, right? Just by the depth, by the size um, of, of each one. Now, based on that conclusion, right? On the size and the function of each of the head, we can also start to think about what kind of pressure we would be applying in the treatment process to yield each result. 